Oh. What? So recently on this channel, I made a few videos showing a couple of my friends Doctor Who for the first time. And it made me think, how cool would it be to be able to record my own first time reactions to Doctor Who episodes? What a shame that I've watched them all several times. Except I haven't. I realised that even though I've been a diehard fan my entire life, I've still never watched the classic show until today. I asked you guys which episode would be a good starting point for classic Doctor Who. And I saw a few people mention Remembrance of the Dalek, so I went with that one. Here's me watching all four parts. Enjoy. Okay. Remembrance of the Daleks, part one. I like I like this intro, this is kinda mad. Sylvester McCoy! Damn. That's a nice logo. I like it. Cole Hill. So there's the Doctor and Ace. I've only seen Ace in The Power of the Doctor, the Jodie Whittaker finale. Four bacon sandwiches and a cup of coffee, please. Four bacon sandwiches? I can very much see the Doctorisms in uh, Sylvester's performance. Is he in a school playground? Seven, eight, it's a doctor at the gate. The kid knows who it is. Ace, get in here! I like this. I like this opening. Where are they? Something I'm appreciating is obviously because I think this Remembrance of the Daleks is in four 25 minute parts. Yeah, four 25 minute parts. It's got so much more time to pace itself and introduce the setting and have some more sort of less serious character interactions than um, they'd be able to do in one of the modern episodes. Because six minutes in usually, a million more things would have happened in a modern show. And I do like the fast paceness of like a a new series, but I do like. I'm enjoying the pacing. I'm enjoying the pacing. It's good. Who the devil are you? I'm the doctor. This is Ace. You must be with the military. Well, how do you know? I'm very perceptive. They've trusted the doctor and Ace really quickly, but I guess that happens in New Who as well. Come on, Ace. Well, they've just let him tag along. You better come and take a look. Wait, is this the place from the first first episode? I've seen like clips from it. Is this like the junkyard? Take two men and get Matthews out of here. Yes, sir. You two fall out. Follow me. Obviously, the way this is filmed, which is similar to a lot of um, dramas around this time, um, it's filmed in a different way and it's directed in a very different way. So there's less close-ups. There's less, you know, it's very distinctly different in the way it looks to the new show. And I, I think that's one thing that takes me away from this kind of episode because. I feel like when there's more close-ups, it's more dramatic, there's more expression, um, which is something that's always taken me out of all the shows a lot, but I like the setup. I'm intrigued. Dad! Mad. Covering fire now! Preposterous, we can't disengage now. Whoever is in there, my men can handle it. Sergeant! Listen to mate, me. Mate, you're too here. confident, mate. How has he seen that space laser beam shoot and kill one of his men instantly and he's like no no i reckon we can handle this actually it's also like what 10 minutes in and we've not even seen the monster of the week yet that's mad modern who could never doctor my men have just put three high explosive grenades into a confined area nothing even remotely human could have survived that that's the point group captain it isn't even remotely human this guy is set in his ways man that army dude is stupid and proceed to Bravo Delta. It's weird that they've got the green overlay. Oh my. I think that is the same extermination sound they have in Modern Who. Oh, there we go. It's on fire. Damn. Oh. What do you think you're doing? your van. Ah. Bro, the doctor committing Grand Theft Auto. That's crazy. I love the banter, I love the bickering. I'm a big fan of, of this uh, dynamic yeah, between seven and eight. The There's that creepy girl again. Doctor, is this the same high school that Clara will end up working at? Is that right? I think it was called Cool here. here job, but I don't think it would do any harm if you were to have just a quick look round. What's going on? Okay. My pleasure. Did the doctor just hypnotize him? 
What is happening about the Dalek? Oh, don't worry. It's under guard. It's safe. I don't trust that guy. He's suspicious. If the Daleks are following you, what are they after? When I was here before, I left something behind. You mean the Hand of Omega? Why the cellar? Good place to put things. Cellars. The Seventh Doctor's got an almost Jeff Goldblum vibe to him. Does that make sense? First, something's activating it. Very likely. There's an automatic activator. So, what is this? Now, quick, down! Oh, sorry. What was that for? Yo. I take it they didn't have next time trailers in this one. Okay. Damn, Ace. So he had like a, a some kind of thing on his ear. I'm sorry. We must repair the transmat. The transmat. Yes. Uh, ETRs, anti-tank rockets. Yes, sir. And they're just letting them take it. Not the Daleks, Mad. Nah, what is all that voice? That is not Nicholas Briggs. Damn. Good. It's not your past. You haven't been born yet. Uh, would someone look after Ace for me? Yes, of course. Good. Borrow this. He's just leaving Ace here for no reason. Not been born yet. What did he mean by that? <laughs> Give it up. Goodbye. Close. I don't know what just happened. Looks like one of those machines in like Call of Duty where you like it goes it plays a little tune and gives you a random weapon. I forgot the name. But Doctor, what about you? <laughs> That's funny. That's actually quite funny. And Saturday viewing continues with an adventure in the new Science fiction series. Doctor. Very meta. Very meta. That's beyond. That's just breaking the fourth wall. It's not new though. Yeah, this military guy is dumb. He's stupid. I don't know how he got into this job. Is she back in Coal Hill? And why haven't they moved that Dalek corpse? That's me in the club for real. Ace kind of gives me Rose vibes. Is that a reasonable thing to say? What was that for? Oh my! Nah! That's how we're doing this! Okay, so... We're now at the halfway point. That is a sick cliffhanger. Ace is sick. I can see the Doctorisms in Sylvester in, there, in the seventh Doctor. Um, the pacing is very different, it's slightly jarring, the way it's filmed is slightly jarring, but I am enjoying it, I think it's sick, but it really is harder to take threats seriously with those wonky visual effects and like, but at the same time, I don't know, cause there's a lot of wonky effects and props in the new show, but I don't know, it definitely is a bit jarring getting used to the um, the older look of this, but it's good, I like Seven, I really like Ace. Ace does kind of give me Rose energy, except more reckless. And I like the bickering, I like the um, dynamic between Ace and the Doctor. What even is that? Hmm. Oh, the goo, that is disgusting. Oh. Anyone give me a hand? Ace, you're hurt. I had an argument with a window. I had an argument with a window. I like Ace. And I don't want them here just yet. Why has this show got so much hitting stuff for a bat? Is there a lot of this in Classic Q? The slower pace and a longer runtime because it's in four parts. It's good and bad. I think it feels like they're really sitting in the adventure, which I think gives it more stakes as well. Um, I like that it. I, I like the way it's paced, but I think because of the way that Classic Cube is shot, um, it's less dramatic. There's less close-ups. 
it feels like stage performance rather than screen performance but I don't know if I'm getting my thoughts across the best way does that make sense? yeah I feel like the longer runtime, I like that it's given us more time to sit in the threat of this story um, but yeah the way it's filmed um, because there is less close up there's less expression in detail um, and because it is a slower piece it's I'm kind of torn whether I like it or not but overall um, as a Dalek story this is cool so far it's cool to see um, how the seventh doctor works I definitely do see things that I've carried over to the modern Who Doctors um, and I like the way Seven is written I really like Ace um, some of the practical stunt work is pretty sick um, I'm enjoying this it's weird it's a bit jarring to get used to because it is so different to the new show but it's fun it's fun that girl again I don't understand what her role is in this Yo, is no longer that's crazy. Dalek are the dogs being led by a Mentero. As long as the renegade Daleks have got the hand of Omega, then the Imperial Daleks' attention will be focused on that. So this is like a small-scale Dalek civil war. So there are two groups of Daleks. One is mutated more than the other one, and one of them or both of them are trying to get the hand of Omega so that they can have Time Lord technology for better time travel and sort of win that little civil war that's what I'm getting so far this is interesting this definitely is the kind of story that the modern show couldn't do unless they fit into a two-parter but I'd be curious to see the take on it oh you were born to serve the Daleks. What? So wait, what is she? Is she human? I don't... activate the time controller. Time controller activated. That's not a time controller. I had one of them in my bedroom when I was a little kid. You put your hand on them and then the lights off. Come on, mate. Not fooling me for a second. That ain't no time controller. I want the doctor found and brought back here. Yes, sir. Okay, man, follow me. You do follow me. That military guy is just not helping himself ever at all. Quiet. Is that it? The hand of Omega's inside this box. Are you sure you want the Daleks to have it? Absolutely. I'm gonna say something that I feel like some people aren't gonna like. I feel like the seven and ace dynamic is kind of similar. To the Doctor Companion dynamic in Jodie Whittaker's series, like in eleven and twelve, I feel like the way that the Doctor and A speak to each other, and the writing style is quite similar to the Doctor and Graham, or the Doctor and Ryan, or even the Doctor and Yaz, the Thirteenth Doctor. I see some similarity in the Chibnall writing style and this writing style, but that's not a bad thing. Not a bad thing. This music is sick. This music is really good. The dog that broke this shit then left a business card. That's crazy. I feel like as well, in Modern Who, the Daleks don't get this much dialogue. Like you don't get a whole lot of scenes in, in New Who of the Daleks just sort of conversing, plotting together. You know what I mean? Is that an old Dalek shit? Is that what Dalek ships used to look like? I think I might have miscalculated. Nah, this is so meta, I love it. I love how corny this is. So is that what Dalek ships used to look like? Proceed to area These guys are shiny. Is that the mothership? No, that's the shuttle. The mothership's much larger. Right. Are you willing to cooperate with me now? I was just doing Mr. Rattle a favor. Do me a favor and drown yourself. I thought it was the right thing. What an insane thing to Mr. say! Rattle Classic who is unhinged, man. Hey. Mate, you fumbled. You it's fumbled, perfect, mate. Sir. The Daleks are so much more, like, screaming. 
Yo. What? That's insane. Nah, he's lassoing. That's crazy, eh? That's so sick. Nah. So much explosions, man. Why is the kid got four powers? Ha <laughs> Oh, not this kid again. Davros. I should have known. I see you've discovered what? the last vestige of your human form. There's still no improvement. Of time lords! This What? This Dovros is scarier than the modern Who on. This is eerie. What just happened? You have tricked me. No Davros, you tricked yourself. Bye, Davros. It hasn't been pleasant. Damn, Seven. Oh. What? I programmed the Hand of Omega to fly into Scarrow's Sun. The Seventh Doctor is brutal in a different way, man. And the feedback destroyed the mothership. Is he always like this? Falls back. You have no superiors. No inferiors, no reinforcements, no hope, no rescue. What? What is this? I'm so like flabbergasted. Did the dog just? Ashes. Dust to dust. Did a doctor just speak the Dalek into suicide? Huh. Okay, so here's my, my, my initial thoughts. Like I was saying before, I like the longer runtime of the story. Um, the way it's filmed kind of catches me off guard a little bit, but um. The concept was cool. The Seventh Doctor is brutal. All the doctors have a darkness to them, but the Seventh Doctor, like right off the bat, there's quite a darkness. Um, but I, he does feel like the Doctor to me. Um, Ace is cool. Ace is really cool. And the Daleks is an interesting idea. Uh, and the Davros reveal out of nowhere is a bit mad. But yeah, I, I like it. I enjoyed this. I'm curious to see more now that i've had my first taste of classic who i'm i'm curious to see more so i guess yeah in the comments recommend me what episode i might try next um it is a bit jarring because it does feel very different to new who but i had a good time so let me know which one i should watch next and there we have it my first time ever watching classic doctor who if you'd like to see me watch more episodes for the first time like and subscribe and comment below which episode i should watch next let me know which are your favorite episodes from each of the classic doctors and i might make a new series out of this thanks for watching people Mwah.